طيب سجدة التلاوة The prostration as a result of recitation uh, There are a few points I would like to mention here Number one is that it is not mandatory Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu was delivering a khutbah one day and he recited a verse that has sajda. So he descended from the pulpit and did sujood and everybody did sujood. The following Jumu'ah, he recited another verse that has tilawa, uh, sujood at tilawa and uh, he did not go down, nor did he prostrate. So people asked him, he said, إِنَّمَا خُيِّرْنَا إِنْ شِئْنَا فَعَلْنَا وَإِنْ شِئْنَا تَرَكْنَا We were given the choice. We can either do it or not do it. Okay? This is number one. Number two, does someone have to be on ritual purity, wudu, when doing so? No. You don't have to. You don't even have to prostrate towards the qibla. As long as you prostrate after recitation, that's all you need to do.